Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Romero Cards for Honeybee Stamps and today I am going to be making a card using their latest release from the Adventures 08 release. And I'm going to be doing a floral card today. I'm so excited to show you this lovely lady. Bam! Look at her. She's beautiful. She's simple. Bunch of white space. We got some color. We got a little bit of shine on there. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway. So make sure you go check out Honeybee Stamps and their latest release. Make sure you check them out on all the social medias. And hey, you know, if you find time, find your boy Ricky by searching for Bromero Cards on Instagram and YouTube. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, click that bell so that you know that Honeybee Stamps has a new video coming out. All right, let's get to making the card. Talk to you there. Okay, so in order to make this card, we are going to be using various cardstock colors here. Um, various pinks from dark to light, some greens, a blue here. We are going to be using the ombre pearl stickers, although I do not show that in the video. I forgot to add them. We're going to be using the patina stencil. We're also going to be using the Be Still sentiment and coordinating die set. And we're also going to be using the Lovely Layers lilies here. So we're going to go ahead, and the first thing we're going to, and, we'll, and some solar paste from uh, Simon Hurley. So the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to get our stenciling done because we need this to dry while we are making the rest of the card. So I'm just going to put some paper or tape on the paper and then flip it over and use the stencil um, on this white piece of paper. It's just a piece of copy paper to make it easier and get things done. Um, I do have a stamp wheel, which is great for stenciling, but I need didn't have time to go clean it after I was done. So I was just use a, use a white piece of paper. So we're going to put this all the way through the stencil and make sure that everything's covered. And then once we get that done, we're going to take everything off the stencil, put it back in the container, we're going to take our stencil, remove it, and we're going to go wash it immediately. Do not leave it out to dry. All right, now what I'm going to do is we're going to start cutting out things. I like to put things in order to make sure that I have what I need. And I like to have the guide next to me just so that I could see exactly how everything goes together. And you can also scan that QR code and it'll take you to a bunch of projects on Honeybee Stamps website. So I'm just going to push everything above and I'm just going to cut out this first thing of flowers. I'm not going to show you this whole thing um, because it's a lot of die cutting. Well worth it though, but it makes the video way too long you guys. So um, I'm just getting all my pieces that need to be a part of this dark pink. I'm going to place it onto the miniature die cutting machine here. It's Honeybee Stamps and run that through the die cutting machine. And then I'm just gonna place everything in order here so that we can make sure that everything's just together. Because what I tend to do is get kind of mixed up and I put things on the wrong layer. So I like to just lay everything out and make sure that everything is in order prior to me putting it together. So this is me doing that now. So I have everything cut out, here we go. I have it lined up so I know exactly where everything goes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start putting this together. Now, I like to glue all the pieces first and most of the lovely layers, they come in, uh, their layers are usually um, even numbers. So if there's four layers, then what I'll do is I'll glue two pieces together and then between those two pieces, those four pieces total, I'll put foam tape. So here I'm just building some layers here. Um, there's two pieces on the dark piece, two pieces on the lighter um, pink. I'm putting the whatever this thing's called. I think it's called the stamen. <laughs> I haven't been in a science class in a long time, so I think that's what that called that this is called or pollen or something. I don't know. Leave a comment down in the uh, comment section and let me know what that is. I think it's the stamen. Uh, and then we're going to put the bud together here too. Um, and we'll just do that in layers the same way. I am doing two, gluing two pieces here. I'll glue the other two pieces together. Um, and I'm using honeybee glue here. And once those all get together, then I start adding some dimension because I really think these lovely layers at their best are with, uh, dimension. 
So I'm just going to use some foam squares that I have here and place them all along the back of uh, the first or this layer. I think it's three and four basically on top of layers one and two. I'm going to line that up. This is super easy, you guys. Like it's like a puzzle. I'm going to put some glue on the back of this pollen stamen yellow thing, whatever that's called. I'll look for it down in the comments. <laughs> We're going to glue that down, make sure it's all nice and glued. And then I'm going to put some smaller uh, square foam adhesive here and remove all that. I did cut a bigger one into several pieces so they could fit on the skinny part of this. Is it necessary? No. Am I crazy? Yes. And that's why they're there. <laughs> all right, we're going to line this up just like a puzzle. We're going to do it slowly because we do have foam on the back there and sometimes that's not easy to get off if you mess it up. Here I'm just doing one big foam dot and we're going to place that on top of uh, layers one and two. There we go. Perfect. Um, I did put the leaves together on this one. It's just little pieces. I didn't do that on camera because um, it was it kind of took me forever because I was in the middle of answering questions for Tony. Um, and how often, like, I'm crafting, don't bother me, Tony, okay? <laughs> I'm sure all of you guys have felt that before. So we have the flower here, we have everything put together. Now I'm going to use the um, Stax ovals here. And this was an afterthought. I didn't show you this, but it was an afterthought um, from... Uh, just looking at it and I was like, mm, this needs to be a little bit more special. So what I did was I cut a smaller oval out of the patina and then a bigger oval to make a mat. And that's basically uh, just the middle of the card, you guys. I'm going to take some embossing ink here. We're gonna emboss this sentiment, birthday wishes. And once we get that down, we are going to dip it down in some white embossing powder. I'm lazy. Instead of like using the spoon and taking it out, I was like, nope, I'll just dip it. And then we're going to heat emboss it. We're going to perform magic. That's basically what heat embossing is. It's just magic every time. We're going to take that coordinating die because you know what? We love a coordinating die. We love it. We love it. We love it. It just makes things so much easier. Crisp, clean, beautiful. I love it. We're going to put that in the miniature die cutting machine here and run that through. And when it comes out, it's going to be the most beautiful thing ever. Okay, so we're going to start putting this card together, gluing everything up, getting it all done. I'm going to place this in the middle. You guys, am I the only one that has issues lining ovals up on a card? Because I seriously think that I'm damaged because I can, I never seem to get it right. We're going to put something heavy on that just to make sure that it flattens down and then we're going to use the glue and start gluing uh, the flower together. We're going to put the lily on the little lily pad here and then we are going to put some foam tape on the back of the sentiment and you guys, we're pretty much going to be done. Um, we're just going to start gluing everything down to the card. I didn't want to move this because it was already in the perfect position I didn't want to lose it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Make sure that you head over to Honeybee Stamps and check out all this great release of Adventure Awaits. Also check them out over on Facebook and Instagram. They have a great Facebook group where a bunch of people come together and make stuff and show it off. Same thing on Instagram. And then also check me out over on Instagram and YouTube as well by searching for Bromero Cards. I hope you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you later. Like, share, subscribe. Click that bell to let everyone know that a new video is out and you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.